What up, y'all? Let's get into it. Nothing waste no time. Yeah, I did get my morning workout in. I do every morning. <laughs> Never miss a day, right? Back feeling swole, arms feeling swole, muscles feel nice and swole, veins popping out. You know what I'm saying? Big veins popping out. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. You know, you know what's good, right? I'm black, right? Anyways, let's get into this video, though. <laughs> Yo, McQueen, thanks for the video. I ain't take no vitamins in there, no protein, and I just had a little bit of water. I ain't gonna lie, I had a little bit of water. Look, look, I got a little bit of water right here. That's all I had. You know what I'm saying? That's all I ever have. You feel me? You feel me? That's the only thing I saw. I seen the sun, I seen the air, and I seen the water. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Good pump, though. Girl who ghosted me after we dated tries to come back in my life at the gym and gets in bed. At the gym? Oh. Let me turn some of this down. All right, let's see y'all. My nephew sleeps, so if y'all hear him, yeah. I know what's going on. <laughs> Trying to be too loud. Oh, man. Good morning. McQueen, my nephew sleep. Don't be too loud, bro. You wake him up, bro. Don't wake him up, bro. <laughs> That's all I know. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I hit the jams. Good morning. I, I thought he had some fruit. This, this man, he did damn vitamins. I thought he had some, some strawberries and some blueberries. I better say, bro, you want to type of time I'm on? You got the fruits in the morning. You got the bananas, the strawberries, the blueberries. You got the, um, with the grapes. I thought you was on the type of time on. That means you don't even need the water. You just eat the fruit. The fruit got the water in it. You got the fibers in it. You got the sugars you need. You got everything you need. The proteins and all. You got him on. Vitamins. That gotta be so nasty. That can't be a king. That can't be a king meal. Ain't no king in his castle back there saying, yo, let me go ahead and put this vitamin back in my body. Man, the king like, man, throw me them grapes. Throw me some watermelon. Let me get that pineapple. What? That's what the king would be doing. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Bro. I probably took vitamins five times in my entire life. I'm like kids. I don't like no, I don't want no vitamins. I don't want no greens. I don't want none of that stuff. You tripping, bro. Spiritually, that should affect you in, in bad ways. Anyway. Let's get to the video, y'all. That's beside the point. I ain't even gonna tell my story, right? It's about McQueen, right? Let's get into it. All right. We got the nannies on the beat. We're gonna skip this, though. I ain't watching this all the way through. Okay. Since we already watched it before, I'm gonna tell you that right now. We're not watching this all the way through. McQueen, I'm not about to watch it all the way through. I came for to see the girl in the gym get embarrassed. That's what I came for. The beginning part, I ain't gonna lie. The beginning part, do be having, he be talking sentimental in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna have to get that on his channel, you feel me? Let's get into the gym part. Let's get straight into the action where all the action started at, you know? I think the action gonna start a little bit further right here. Yeah, yeah, I see somebody. Okay, that's a dude. Okay, okay. Where, where we at, y'all? We gonna get straight into the action, man. Thinking a nice workout and a nice pump. Oh, here you go, right here. Yeah, middle of the video, just like I thought. Look at that, 20 minutes in. Boom. Let's get it. Let's get it. 2002, let's get it with the with the reflection, with the mirrors and the da da da. Alright, y'all, y'all ready? Like I said, we ain't even finna be wasting time no more, bruh. Like I said, we ain't finna be wasting time like that no more, bruh. We ain't got time for all of that. You know, I've grown their lives and changing lives as we speak. And uh, it's for a very little affordable price. We gotta get in right now because once we hit 100 members, man, it is raising up to $100. And that's gonna happen soon. So get in right now because once you lock in, that price will be locked in for the rest of your life. Okay? Anywho, enough talking. I breathe a little bit too hard. Hey. Getting that good, bro. That's why I need to hit the gym. I got a lot of weights at the crib, but I need the gym. I need more. I need more equipment. Cause the waist of the crib eventually they get old to me. So I mean I need I need I need something different. I need something different just to get my brain to be different and working differently. I need something different. That machine pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Poppers coming inside the gym, okay? It's a use the night down. Alright. I got a lot of resistant bands and stuff, so you know they walk by and they don't see you. That's so funny, man. Um 
You trying to hit me with that? Because I only got the coochie, baby. It's already over. We already got knocked down. The mission's already accomplished. You feel me? Um, if I get another angle work, the girl I'm talking about um, is, you know, visible, then I will do that so y'all can see. Because, I mean, she, she do got it done, but... Okay, okay. Know? I'm already knocked the people out of here, man. Out of, out of the gym. So, okay, okay. Um, it's just funny seeing them walking around talking to other guys and <laughs> we're continuing to be boppers. Right. That's essentially why I don't talk to girls in the gym. If you're talking to me, most likely she's going to go talk to somebody else. Especially if you, if, you ain't, if you ain't thinking about consistently having her as your girlfriend or something. Come a year later, she at that same gym. She doing her and you just like, ugh. Why would you even want that type of feeling toward people, right? That's why I don't even talk to them. There's no reason for me to talk to them. I'm not trying to create no type of bad blood whatsoever. <laughs> the most I might say is, what's up? What's good? Have a good day. That's it. Why? To keep the vibes high. To keep the vibes good, man. I don't want nobody. She in the gym trying to get her workout. He trying to get his workout in, but he, he in his head because he, he don't see her. Obviously, if he wasn't in his head, he wouldn't be saying it out loud right now. If the camera went here, he would have been in his head. He wouldn't have been saying this stuff. He would have been in his head. Since the camera here, he's speaking it out. Right? It's only difference. But he's still in his head. He's talking about somebody. She ain't worried about you, boy. He a fan. But then, you know, but you know, she go, you might catch her eye. And then she like, oh, McQueen. Hey, McQueen. Oh, remember me. Uh oh. Even if it was bad blood, sometimes because y'all in the same building, hey, what's going on? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all be in the same classroom, teaching, and they're putting both of y'all. Now y'all got to take a test together. Y'all doing a project together. You be like, man, I don't do no project with her. I told Miss Smith I ain't going to do no project with her. And she told my son, well, guess what? Y'all going to do it. And y'all on the same team. And y'all got to do it together. Now you like, hmm. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Or you might have a homie that you didn't want to do the project with him. Do that with him, man. He's he, he kind of slow, man. I wanted to go with Sam, man. He got me doing it with, with uh, yeah, John down there, man. He tripping. He don't never do homework. He already talking about just finish it and then put my name on it. See what I'm saying? He wasn't even playing. He over there playing video games, man. He ain't even trying to do the work, right? He ain't even trying to do the project. I got to ask my mom for all the supplies. I remember how that used to be. <laughs> right? You in elementary, you in high school doing projects, man. You had to, you know what I'm saying? You got to get all your own supplies. You know what I'm saying? Everybody didn't want to pitch in and help out, right? But yeah, you don't want no bad blood. I hate that. I hate walking into a room and I'm feeling some type of energy. I don't like that shit. If I walk in the room, I don't want to feel nothing. I don't want to feel like something is holding me. Somebody looking at me. I don't want to feel none of that. I mean, I already know they looking. I already know they looking, right? I'm tall and black, so they looking. I know that for sure, right? But it's like... I don't want no, no staring eyes, no peeping eyes, no evil eyes. They over there, ooh, why he got that on? Look at that red hat he got on. He think he fine, looking like Tupac. Look at his teeth, ooh, his teeth so straight. That what they be like, they be hating on the boy. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't want all of that going on. So hopefully she ain't gonna be hating on the boy. Uh, after I had already knocked down. That's why I say all of that. Hopefully she's not gonna be hating on the boy. Y'all know how goes up. When you start acting brand new, you start acting like, when, you know, once you knock them down, they're either obsessed or they just start, they just, you know, go do what tutors do. And just go ahead and get knocked down by other guys. You feel me? Uh, so, it's always so, I mean, me, the way I look at it, I'm very comfortable in my skin, right? So, I'm not, I used to, I used to be, when, when I was young, I used to be real self-conscious and like, you know, thinking about, uh, you know, uh, not lying or not being able to walk in the room of someone who I used to have a past with, you feel me? Um, I was just talking about that. really to just walk away and just avoid that interaction at all, that possible interaction. But now, uh, I don't give a damn. It's, you know, I'm not going to allow anybody's presence, whether male or female, uh, to stop me from walking into a room. Okay? I just talked about to that. feel the energy uh, of me being fully confident in who I am and what I, uh, what I bring to the table. And I'm going to make you uncomfortable. You know what I'm trying to say? From being in the same room. You know what I'm saying? As me. I'm going to make you uncomfortable. You feel me? I highly doubt it. <laughs> what you giving me a hug for? What? So what you giving me a hug for? My hug? I said, what are you giving me a hug for? <laughs> I told you. She looked at She like, oh, hey, McQueen. So now she came over. She like, she's trying to get a hug. He like, you can't give me a hug for I ain't in that thing no more. 
He like, oh, hold up now. We're gonna have to do some inspection first. Where, where you been? Huh? Curious cat, where you been? I ain't seen you in about a couple months. I ain't seen you in a couple of years. Where you been? Who you been with? <laughs> you gotta start asking the question. You ain't burning or nothing, is you good? Let me make sure your lips ain't got no rashes around it. Uh-huh. Let me see your inner thighs. Make sure ain't no bumps. Where you been? <laughs> it don't smell like alright, we good. You sound you gotta do an inspection. You got you gotta inspect these girls, bruh. You gotta inspect these girls, bruh. You never know. You, uh, you, what you said? You got an ex-boyfriend. How long ago? He ain't still pulling up at the house, is he? You got a new place. He don't know where you stay now. Okay, that's cool. Keep it that way. You gotta inspect this stuff, bruh. You end up getting out here looking goofy. Huh? I'm just being real. <laughs> hey, she got me bumpers on the go for real. He, he went wild. Hey, what's your what? I know you got the brand new. I don't know. Uh -huh. You know, you know exactly, girl. Why? What you mean, why? I've seen you around before. What you mean you see me around? I don't come to the gym. Well, last time. I know. That's the whole point. His whole point is you got some thumbs on you, but his whole point is he hasn't been seeing you. So where do you been? She's like, I haven't seen you in so long. So where you been? <laughs> She's avoiding the question. She's gonna avoid that. She's not gonna say, oh, I was with a couple other guys. She's not gonna say that. <laughs> oh, you know, I was just taking care of business, you know. Um, I started a new job, and, you know, I was just getting my life together. She's not gonna say <laughs> nothing about the other guys, which is good. I don't care. I don't wanna hear about the other guys. It's totally fine. Totally fine. I get it. I get it. <laughs> right? I get it. <laughs> Ain't no way you walked in the gym like this and you told me, hey, nobody talked to you within the last year. You know, lost your damn mind. Somebody came to talk to you almost damn near every day. <laughs> Not walking around looking like that. Tuh, that's tough. They coming. They at the woodwork. Oh, she got them things on her, boy. <laughs> when was the last thing I texted you? Don't play again, huh? Yeah, I texted you like a little audio. Yeah, you're saying you was playing. I thought we were supposed to go on a day. You was playing games and all that. Okay, so you trying to go on, you, you trying to go on with <laughs> What'd she say, y'all? I was busy for, for work, for real. Okay, everybody busy for work. So you telling me, <laughs> it's 24 hours in a day. You ain't working 24 hours. <laughs> you feel me? You only working about eight. You might get 12 hour shift. I don't know. You know, some people got 12 hour shift. You don't even work three or four days a week. That's totally fine. You might do, you might even, she might do a part time shift, only four hours. We don't know what, she just say work. We don't know how long that means. We don't even know what that means. Her work could be OnlyFans. We don't know what's going on. Right? I told y'all she was going to make up an excuse. There's no excuse. It's 24 hours in a day. You can't call me for five minutes to FaceTime. Bro. You, you, man, you FaceTime me while you're on the toilet. I, I don't care. Why you brushing your teeth? You can't call me for five minutes for a little bit of time just to make sure check in. Yo, you good? You can't check in on me like I check in on you? You see what I'm saying, y'all? Uh, where you been, curious cat? Where you been? Huh? You see me in the gym, I'm getting right. Where you been? <laughs> huh? I told y'all she was going to say it. I don't deal with too many women. I already know how it work. I know exactly how they work. I'm talking about exactly to the T. Can't nobody fool me. I know exactly how men and women work. They can't fool me. I don't deal with thousands of people. Too many people at, at this point. Too many people. You know what I mean? Just it, essentially just talking to people. I don't deal with too many people. Can't fool me. Never. Play again, huh? never. I can never get fooled. Yeah, never. I, I may not say nothing sometimes. I don't, I don't say nothing sometimes. I just, I just play it cool. So you, you, try to go, you, you try to go on with real? Or you going to play it? I'm not trying to play, I just said I just kind of got on the timer, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't you go on a date with the army, like, not too long ago? Mm -hmm. Swag boy Q. Yeah. She, she said, hmm? I thought you had time for dating, though. But you just went on a date with somebody. But you didn't have time, but you don't have time for dating. Huh? You, you know what somebody lying? Huh? Catch me lying? Huh? Oh, damn. How they know about that? Huh? Oh, that was me. Huh? Oh yeah, that was just, man, that was just for fun, huh? But you just lied. You just lied. You just lied. You said you had no time for dates, but you still went on a date. That didn't make, that didn't, that didn't, it don't make sense. You ain't making no sense. You ain't making no money on my channel right now because you ain't making no sense. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me hell. You want to like my homie. It's not like a date like that. You, how you, so you got time for the homie, but you ain't got time for my boy McQueen? 
You could have called the homie, yo, I, I can't even go on a date today. I'm going with McQueen. He'd have been like, oh, McQueen, oh yeah, go do that, have fun. If that's the homie, he would have he already known what's going on. See what I'm saying? The homie would have been like, yo, I'll see you tomorrow. If it's the homie, the homie always going to be there. The homie always going to be there. Let's be real, y'all. I'm being real. The homie always going to be there. If it's a real homie. Are you sure? Because what I heard on that date was not what homies do. So what I heard is... Huh? What happened on the date? They was kissing? What happened on the date, huh? The on that date was not what homies do. Just a little one date. Little one date. But you said it's the homie. But you did some stuff on that date that homies normally don't do, which I was kissing and what else y'all was doing, right? But she just said it was the homie. You see how you see how stupid this shit is? Why don't you just walk into Birdie and tell him the truth? So they're trying to lie to him and manipulate him when he already knew the truth. The same thing the women be doing. The same thing y'all men be doing, though. Y'all men do the same thing. They know the truth. They already know what's going on. They ask you specific questions just to see what your answer gonna be. I thought Charmaine was your sister. And you like, you know, you know, they play sister. Say it in what it is. Nah, that ain't my sister, man. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that one of my girlfriends, for real, for real. I got about three or four of them. Be for real. You, you, you still want to be my girl too? You can be number five. Or what you trying to do? You, you ain't with that? All right, cool. I still got the three or four other girls. I'm good. But y'all like the lot. Oh, nah, she ain't nothing. Don't even worry about her. What's up, baby? Uh, 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 uh. And then when you don't hurt, hey, Charmaine, what good? Nah, she ain't nobody, Charmaine. Don't even worry about her. I know how the game go. The thing is, y'all know how to play it correctly. Y'all ain't pimping. Y'all ain't here lying. It's a difference. It's a big difference, man. Okay. It's a How big difference, man. I bet you ain't have the time, though. I mean, to meet someone, you know. <laughs> she, she, why are you still, she's still trying to complain. She's still trying to explain. You can't do it. There's no way you can get out of this. Just let that man know. I didn't want to go on a date with you, McQueen. I wanted to go with your homie. It is what it is. That's the truth. It is what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I just wanted to go on a date with the homie. I wanted to see what he was about. He was new. He he knew he knew fresh air to me. He a new breeze, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to see what's good. That's that's the truth. Be real. She trying to lay down on him like, ah, oh, no, nah, it wasn't nothing like that. Oh, no, nah, we ain't even do nothing. You know, I ain't even going to date with him no more. Yeah, man, it didn't even work out, you know? I don't even talk to him every day. Even though you check her phone, she texts him every day. Or he texts her and they, re they, they respond back to each other every day. Oh, I don't even talk to him like that. When the last time you talked to him? Oh, uh, yesterday. Like, like, be real. It, it ain't hard to be real. It ain't hard to be real. Not at all. It's hard to pick up lies. Now I gotta think. Like, I told. What do I want? See, now I gotta think. I ain't. Man, that's too much. You sitting there trying to think. Ooh. And meet someone and kiss them. And one day. Right. Two well, so one day you can't let my man McQueen slide through. What's good? So was it not worth it with me then? Ah, so she wanted to see. She wanted to see what it was worth. So she she let one day slide to go hang with him to see what it was. A lot of people do that too. That's that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Like like you may not even try the chicken sandwich at Popeyes, but one day you might just be like, you know what? I'm gonna get that chicken sandwich today, man. Let me go ahead and get that spicy man. Yeah, throw that thing on there. Let me see that thing I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That was she saying. But obviously she's saying that it wasn't even nothing like that. So Buddy didn't Buddy didn't impress her. Buddy didn't impress her. And that's another reason why you never worry about other men. You never worry about another man, right? They make mistakes just like we do, right? We all make mistakes, right? Ain't nobody perfect. <laughs> Story than that, Uncle Force. You really can't know. <laughs> you feel me? Did I get that right? Yeah. You said, did I get all of that? Yeah. Story. You know? Uh, I might just go ahead and use that for the female, because she's still right in the way. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, I'm not going to let these bottles get away with all this. I'm just not. I'm just not. I feel you. He putting his foot down. I feel you. That, that was, hey, that was a good move, bro. That was a good move. You checked her. You checked her, bro. And you had the good information. You checked her, bro. That was a good move, bro. Because most men won't even do that. You feel me? Maybe they, they be afraid that she might yell at him or she might 
slap him upside the head or something, man. <laughs> she might. <laughs> but still, the truth is the truth. And at least you know once they get defensive like that, you already know you don't want her anyway. I don't want nobody. They put their hands on me, it's over with. It's over with. I promise. It don't matter if you just like, or you just like, oh, I, it's over with. It's over with. I can't, I can't deal. Cause I might, I might mistaken you do this, and I might mistaken you somebody else. I might uppercut you. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to kill nobody. I'm not trying to go to no jail. You know what I mean? So, so nah. I don't even deal with that. But that was a good little uh, talk. Um, she didn't want nothing out of it, obviously. Or maybe she still got his number. She gonna hit him up later, later on this week. Oh, hey McQueen, when the next time you going to the gym? Oh McQueen, this weekend I kind of got some free time. I got a day off. Like I don't work seven days out of the week. I, nobody does, duh. So obviously you got some type of time. But anyway, it's back to what we talking about. She gonna get him some time. We gonna see her on the video again. We gonna see though. Come McQueen, a good guy. He ain't no bad guy. He a good guy. And he don't be pimping no more. He good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then she went on a date with the homies at uh, Swipe Break Cute. <laughs> and because she went ghost after the first song, after after she got napped. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? After we was uh, we were supposed to go on a, on a few more dates. Oh. And then she had the brand new. You know what I'm saying? And oh, the same thing she just said about Swipe Boy. She said, oh, we went on a date. It was cool. The same thing, like she just tried it out. She did the same thing to you, bro, that she did to him. She just want to see what it was about. I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all women, right now. I'm gonna tell y'all men, you ain't gonna find out what it's about in one day. You can't find out what it's about in one day. You can't even read a book in one day. It not only takes you literally months and years to truly understand someone. And she thought she was going to get that in one day. She know everything you about in one day. No, it's impossible because people wake up every day with different personalities, right? If he if he go to sleep tonight, I ain't gonna say him. If anybody go to sleep tonight and they mama die tomorrow, that's another being. That's a different person. That ain't the same person that, that that went to sleep. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. That's another person. <laughs> let alone let let one of their close friends uh, not be their friend no more. That's another person. That's a whole other person. They they on flipping chain. Trust me. So you can't, you you never know people. You would never know people. I don't care if you know somebody your whole entire life, you still do not know them. There's things they didn't tell you and there's things they will never tell you. Remember that. So you would you would never know people. You People think they know people, you never, people change every second. The world continuously changes and evolves. You would never know someone fully, ever, ever. And that's just the truth. <laughs> so she thought because she went on a date that she knew what the vibes was gonna be. Nah, that that Shawty, you tripping? You tripping, Shawty? <laughs> Shawty tripping, man. But <laughs> they they always um walk away from the kings though. Yeah, you know, they walk away from the kings, man. You know, man. kings don't apply too much pressure, so they walk away from the kings. You beat them, uh, yeah. It'd be, it'd be the mother people that put a lot of pressure on them so they feel like, oh, he really cares because he added so much pressure. <laughs> I would have added some pressure, but it just ain't time to add that pressure, right? But yeah, that's what it'd be, though. You ever seen a guy like, he constantly hitting the girl up and he end up going on a date compared to sometimes the guy who doesn't hit him up so much because he got, he got life, he got business, he got stuff going on. He don't always get the date, right? But when then when she done with Goofy, you know Goofy, the guy that keep hitting her up and everything. When she done with him, cause he got so much time on his hand. Um, when she done with him, then she got to come back around like, hey, boss man, <laughs> you always so busy. You've been busy for like four months now, and I've been thinking about you. I know you've been thinking about me for four months. I know you've been thinking about me, cause I ain't hit you up. You got my number, or I got your number, and I ain't hit you up. It's something different. She like, damn, this nigga ain't gonna text me. I can't text him first. I gotta wait for him to text me. It's four months later. She still gotta text me first. I'm on your side of town. What you trying to do? That's when stuff like that start happening. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The men out there know what I'm. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. We just keeping it real, right? We ain't. Ch you never chased after them. They always gonna come back around. I told you, curious cat. She gonna come back around. Hey, how you been? Where you been? Uh, of course she gonna come to you. You a man. You the one who got the balls. Duh. Duh. She can't just get this from anywhere. Trust me on that. 
ain't she can't just go to any man and get those qualities that you provide. No, that's not how the world works. Each person has their own genuine qualities, right? Just because two guys are six foot means nothing. It means literally nothing. The inside qualities of the person, the internal working, right? You can't just find that anywhere. And women know that. Women know that. That's why a lot of men, they get, they like, ah, next, uh, next, uh, next. Same with the women. We, we can understand, we see quality. We like, uh, nah, she ain't, nah. Uh, her shoes dirty, ooh, no, ooh. I can't believe she came out here like that, uh-uh. Same thing, same thing. I now just acting like she ain't, she ain't know what I was talking about, you know? Uh, so then, you know, literally two weeks later, I see her on a, uh, I see the homie Swabbo Q, and he talking about, he, he knocked her too. He knocked her? What you mean when you say knocked her? What he saying? What he mean by that? Y'all tell me in the comment section. That mean he, he did, did something with her? Cause that's even worse. Cause now not only did Brody tell about his experience with the chick, McQueen, like y'all, y'all, y'all talking about y'all said, I would never tell, even if I hit that thing, I would never tell nobody. You ain't supposed to tell nobody that. You ain't supposed to kiss and tell. That's only what girls do. They kiss and tell. They tell each other, ooh, girl, guess how this dude did me, da, da, da. You not supposed to be doing that. That's what they do. That's why some of y'all be getting y'all girls taken. You over there telling your homie, ooh, bro, she got that. Ooh, she got that. And then all of a sudden, he think like, ooh, she do. I can't wait to see y'all break up. I'm going to find out about that. Duh, you over there telling him. You telling him about the experience. You never tell somebody that. You never tell them about that. He over here talking about this, man, you airing that girl laundry out there. You know what I'm saying? Dang, because that's two bodies right there. I ain't trying to keep counting, neither. <laughs> you hear me? Two, uh, two, two strangers. It's two strangers. <laughs> like, it's funny because he wonder why. She, that's, maybe that's all she wanted there. Maybe she just wanted to bop. She just wanted to bop. She was trying to see how, how long they can bop. Uh, I guess not long enough. She ain't hit you back up, Brody. That means uh, it wasn't good enough. I'm telling you right now, if it's good enough, she gonna hit you up at least two to three times a week. I'm telling you right now. You ain't gotta go for her, but she gonna hit you up every week for sure. I don't wanna like fully call it out. For sure. For sure. You know, I still have some of the but uh, I know the homie knocked down too. So, Dang. because if I knock, I mean, it's really not that far off. You see how she lied about, you know, uh, oh yeah, it was just a date, you know, it was just friends and this and that. We just hanging out with friends. Right. And then I'm confused. It was just a date. That's your homie. What y'all kissing on the first day? Who do that? Nah, they've been had a little bit of feelings. And like she said, she just wanted to see, oh, let's see where this can go. Or he had feelings. She didn't have no feelings. He was pressuring it. So she like, all right, let's see where this go. She let the man take a date and go on a date, whatever. And she wasn't really trying to do much, but they end up kissing and everything else. It probably just happened in the moment. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I can see her side of point of view. She really was just trying to see where it's going to go. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I'm not afraid to call these mothers out, man. Don't let no girls sit there and play with y'all before you. Do not let no. This is what I mean about how I teach y'all to have the confidence to be able to do what I just displayed. You know what I'm saying? And not allow any girl to you know, play with you. Uh, and don't chase after no girls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, never. You feel me? So, never, do not never. chase after no girls, man. Uh, if a girl's playing around, you move on uh, You move on to the next one. Okay? You move on. There's three billion of you. I mean, you gotta move on to the next one. You go ahead and continue taking care of your business and your own stuff, right? You gotta just move on to the next one now. <laughs> but you gotta take care of that emotional turmoil too. You don't wanna get to the next girl and then start talking to her disrespectful, like, man, I hope you ain't like that last shit, or da da da. I hope you don't cheat. Like, you don't put that negativity upon people, you see what I'm saying? So, what you wanna do is you gotta take care of yourself first, do that self love, take care of your mental and your brain. So, when you meet that new girl, you ain't even worried about that old So You don't even know what happened in the back. You said somebody cheating on her? I ain't even know that. You see what I'm saying? I ain't even know. You said what? Oh, right. I forgot about that. I mean, yeah. who? Who that is? Oh, man, I, don't, man, I guess I, talk, I used to talk to her. I don't, I don't know. Like, you leave all that that baggage in the past in the past. Don't, don't be holding that with you. Because when you get into your new relationship, like, it, it, it causes toxic um, situations. 
Because you thinking that this person finna react how that other person reacted. They may or may not, right? But since you thinking that your reality automatically law of attraction, you're gonna get what you think. So if you thinking this person gonna do something dirty, you gonna get somebody to go and do something dirty. That's because that's what you're thinking. So always go with obviously the positive mind. You can think of negative thought, you, you know what I'm saying? Man, they, man. But then switching around, be like, you know what? Nah, they ain't doing that. And if they is, I, right, I'm gonna find out, right? God gonna let me know. God gonna make sure my intuition on point, and I'm gonna find out the clues gonna be there. You feel me? Everything gonna be there. I'm gonna be able to see everything gonna line up, and I'm gonna make my decision. But don't come to a further decision or conclusion before you got the facts. Some people quickly do that. They'll quickly, they, as soon as they look at you, they like, nah, I don't, I ain't, I don't know. You already came to some type of conclusion and you don't even know me. You know how them, them girls that be like, oh, what's your Zodiac sign? You be like, ooh, I'm a blah, blah, blah. She like, ooh, nah, I can't mess with you. She already came to the conclusion. She don't even know you. Let alone, all we got all the signs in our Zodiac. Every single last one of us has every single sign in it. Every single sign. Like some of us are primary a little bit more aggressively in certain areas, but we have every single sign. So we're not one, we're all. Duh. <laughs> Obviously, we're part of the universe, right? Part of God, right? We have to be all. But it, like the stupid people, they pick and choose. The same people with the Bible and stuff like they pick and choose what they want to listen to, what they want to hear. You know what I mean? They pick and choose. Oh, nah. Yeah, I don't want that sandwich, that cheese on. Uh -uh. They picking and choose and they just be, oh, nah, that shirt with that, that red. Uh -uh. Let me get that blue one. They picking and choose. And that's what they do. Pay attention. Right. That's all they do. That's all they do all day. And it's totally fine. You go ahead and pick and choose. And like I said, that's totally fine. You had something. You had a, um, you got some gold. You had a diamond in, 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 in the haystack. They couldn't even see it. They couldn't even see the diamond in that thing. You feel me? But it, that's, that's, just, that's just how it be. That's just how it be. That's just how it be, bro. You can't even get butt hurt about that. She ain't never seen you real. She ain't never felt real. Her mama wasn't real. Her daddy wasn't real. How the fuck she supposed to know you were real? None of her friends are real. Her homegirls ain't real. They always faking. They always lying. They stealing her clothes. How's she supposed to know you real? Her last boyfriend cheating on her. He ain't never had no money. How's she supposed to know you, you real? And that's why I'm telling you, y'all got to be real. Y'all have to be real with yourself. These people can't tell you if you real or not because they don't even know what real is. They never seen Tupac. <laughs> right? They never, they never met these real people. They never met Kobe for real. Right? They, they, they never met a man of value, of morals, of, of stature, of, of principles. They, 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 they never seen that, right? And that's the reason, again, I'm telling y'all, you got to vet these people out. You got to understand where they came from because then you understand how they work. And that's, again, it's going to take time to understand that because everybody ain't going to tell you everything every single day or in the beginning. They're not, they're not just going to blatantly out and just tell you oh this happened and that happened and then I'll tell you all of that that's like therapy work at that point but again these are the type of conversations that you have to have with people to truly understand and get to know who they are otherwise you don't know who the person is you don't know who they is he thought she was going to just come over here and you know use my energy um, for free like that nah baby <laughs> You don't just get to play around with McQueen and walk back into my life and think everything is just peaches and cream. That's not how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So get all that damn weirdo stuff out of here. She can take that one back to the crib. Right. Because right? uh, girls be on dates talking about, oh, my God, I, 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 like, I think you're so amazing. And they say, you're just such a great guy. You know, just stay like, you're just, oh, my God. Like, you have so many things going for you. And, this, man, and then they just want to act brand new. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, oh yeah, it was nice. First she was like, well, I didn't go on a date. I haven't had time. Then she's like, oh, a day. Oh, that's a friendly. We just went out to, we just we just got some McDonald's. And you still went out on a date with this nigga. You still gave this nigga your time. And you kissed him while y'all was at McDonald's. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if y'all was at Root Chris or if y'all was at McDonald's or if y'all was at a picnic. I don't care. It's still a date. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> like, yeah, you talking about she ain't got time, but then now she going to anyway. You're right. You guys get the deal. This is hilarious. I couldn't read it better. I really hope that. Hey, that was a good one. I ain't gonna lie. She, she, she just played herself in front of all of us. She definitely played herself. You know, she was positioned well in that thumbnail. Um, but anyway, uh, wow, <laughs> wow, speechless, right?
Anyways, man. Let's move on to this next set. <laughs> I wish Brent was there. I wish Brenton, Brenton was there, man. That would have been amazing. But at least everybody gets to get the clip. We got 13 minutes in the video. Uh, most likely the video is over. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't wanna hear too much more talking because then it's gonna be a bunch of gossiping, right? Just too much, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing else going on. Like I told y'all, we came to see, obviously, the action and scene. You know what I'm saying? We came to kind of uh, describe it, explain it, and see how the queen felt about it. You know, her walking up to him, even though she ghosted him, basically. You know what I'm saying? She uh, she got some she got some she got some pound town and ghosted him, and he feel bad about that. He got to understand that that's a normal life for uh, Alpha Man. It's a normal life. She not she not coming in. She don't want to stay for a whole week or a month. She gonna come in for a day or two or whatever, and she gonna go for a, a, a couple months to a year, and then she gonna come back around. That's normal, dog. That's normal. Cause you don't you don't want her coming around every week, man. You gonna get annoying. You know my man, she, man the girl's trying to come back, and she wants some more. Then it's gonna get annoying. So she did what she was supposed to do for real. For real. I ain't gonna lie. She didn't bug you, you know. Now she trying to come back. She probably wants something else. She seen you in the gym, and she like, ooh, I wanna see if he can. What if he got stronger? She trying, she trying, I wonder if round two can be a little bit, can be fine. You know what I mean? That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> you could have been like, oh, bro, all right. Well, you did saying you ain't had time for a date, but you obviously made time for a date. Right? Mm-hmm. Yo. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to date too. But she's like, oh, well, all right, I can squeeze some time in. I know you can. Right? Okay. And we already know what we talking about. You know, yeah. All right, bet. Squeeze me in there. Just a reoccurring going on. The queen like, nah, we cutting that. <clears throat> we cutting that. Like, I don't even want you back in my spot. I don't even want you nowhere close to me. I don't even want to. No. That's fine. That's fine. Trust me. She going to find somebody else. I mean, she a girl with a thumper. She going to find somebody else, right? She going to go on the gym tomorrow and the guy going to be like, ooh. She going to like, you want to go on a date? You buy me something to eat? Free food. <laughs> free food is free, but <laughs> like <laughs> that's her definition. If, if a man feed her, she gonna get <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. A lot of them are like that. You're right. A lot of them are like that. You give them some food and they fuck it. I had a girl used to do that at Spellman, man. Cause you know we can't go to Spellman, so I had to I'm like, man, I'm not finna drive down there and get you to go get food. Unless we going back to my place. That, 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 that was just my my head. She like, oh, okay. Because we couldn't stay at her place. And we not finna just be outside. Forget that. She like, oh, okay. I'm like, what you want? She don't even care. I'm like, man, shoot. Wendy's open. She like, oh, I like Wendy's. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I caught her like that maybe two or three times. She was like, you always get me. You know I'm hungry. I'm like, yeah. But after that third time, she ended up moving to another state, so you know that kind of cut me off a little bit. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm Of course, I, I found somebody else. Of course, that was hungry. Of course, right? <laughs> Crazy. But I try not to manipulate people, y'all, because I already know how I get. I already know how it gets. Not how I get, but how it gets. Right? You can give them a piece of chocolate, man. They, man, they jumping on your lap, bro. I'm telling you, man, I know how it gets, bro. Like I said, that liquor, that, that wine and all that, man, they start acting all funky. Not funky, they start acting sexual. They start acting sexual. So you, we know how it gets, bro, right? So I try, I try not to manipulate people. I'd rather mess with somebody who want to mess with me. She's sober, but she's still on me. I like that. That's a little bit better. Just saying. All right, y'all, let's get out of here. McQueen, thanks for the video, bro. Well, he got some potatoes. I don't know when the last time I had potatoes, bro. I used to eat eight potatoes a day. Baked potatoes. I ain't, I, mean, I don't know about frying them, bro. That's a lot of uh, grease. But uh, yeah, you feel me? I, I stay off the potatoes now, unless it's fries. And sometimes I don't even do them because y'all already know, like I said, all that grease. So we got to make sure, make sure you eat healthy, bro. Bake the potatoes. And if you go on like, even even my friends, and they was like, it was like, you turn it orange, I'm black. How am I turning orange? It was like, you turn it orange. Started turning different colors. They was like, you bulking up when I was eating the potatoes. I was like, I eat six to eight potatoes a day. Not only, I was eating everything else too. That was just like snacks. Um, but yeah, keep it up, bro. You're doing real good, man. That's just, oh, look, we can watch this. We can watch this. So, you know what that means. Carbs are now loud again, okay? 
Okay. So I made this damn shrimp Alfredo. Oh, that's not potato shrimp Alfredo. You gonna you definitely need potatoes in there. What the heck? The shrimp's gonna stick. The, the Alfredo's gonna be sliding out, bro. You definitely need potatoes in that. Pretty much. <laughs> or some rice, right? The rice help you bulk up. The um, that pasta, it's gonna slide through. It's like noodles. It's, just, it's gonna slide through. you. It's like a diet type of thing. Like you on a diet, like you know, you trying to lose weight. You eat a salad, you eat some noodles or something. You know what I mean? It's it's not gonna affect you or harm you. That's what Chinese people do. But when you start getting into that rice and that chicken, right? That's when you're trying to bulk. So you're trying to get, you trying to keep your muscle. You trying to, you know what I mean? You trying to keep your healthy weight. But anyway, that's down the entire thing already. Uh, but we see. You know, I gotta get to like 3,500 calories a day now. I think 3,600, something. In my that's so it. Like, think something like that. That is the first day. That's yeah. it. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna knock this uh, uh, down. Okay. Finish the rest of it. And I think I'm gonna end the video off here, man, because we were supposed to go and do something else. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that for a separate video because that something else wasn't able to happen because of a certain thing that took place. So, uh, but it can happen tomorrow. Okay. So, we got a lot of other crazy, a lot of other crazy videos coming. Yeah, I told y'all, man, I'm, I'm gonna keep coming with y'all, but I'm not even gonna finish off. I'm not even gonna talk. I'm just gonna show y'all, all right? Uh, so, like I said, I'm gonna knock this down. That's the end of this video, man. Uh, don't, there's more of the story here. Do not ever let no girl tell you or try to move you out of what your domain is as a man, okay? And don't ever let nobody try to shame you out of it. And what I mean by that is, this is your shit. This is your call, okay? Whatever happens and whatever rules you set inside your ship, inside your core, is the way it goes. Okay? It is not. And to elaborate on what you're talking about, that's like um, the kingdom being with inside, the kingdom being with inside, outside, the kingdom being within, out, within, without. Same thing Jesus talked about. Your core, the internal working of your brain, your body, your body, mind, spirit, your soul. You know what I mean? And just having, again, that respect of, of, of in your kingdom. You don't just let anybody just walk in your house, right? You don't let just anybody walk in your mind. You don't let just walk, let anybody walk in your, your your body, your temple, right? You don't let anybody just throw anything inside your, your mind, your body. You don't let anybody just throw anything inside your car, inside your house. Like, that's, that's your temple. That's your kingdom, right? You don't want nobody coming in your kingdom, trashing it up, right? You don't want nobody going in your body, uh, trashing it up, putting diseases in there, right? You don't want that happening, right? That's essentially what he's talking about right here. And that's why you got to you gotta have some type of control over yourself, right? Because a lot of people out here, just they'll, they'll, they'll play on your, your, your um, feelings. So if you if you a man, get out your feelings, right? If you're a woman, get out your feelings, right? Sometimes you can't be in your feelings, right? Sometimes you got to really be logical about stuff because um, moving in the world, that's totally fine if it's, just, if it's you and God, right? You can go off those feelings, right? Intuition, it'll help you. But when you're dealing with people, you got you can go off them feelings, but you got to really use logic because if you're going off of just your feelings, you're going to show love to people who don't need love. You're going to show love to people who don't need love. Like sometimes, and, and when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm saying that, I'm not saying love as in, oh, are you okay? Sometimes you gotta be like, man, get up, man. You all right, bro, get up. Like sometimes you gotta give them that hard love. You can't just give them that soft, ah, it's gonna be okay. You can't even give them that soft. You got, man, it's gonna be good, bro. Get up, bro, you stronger than that. Sometimes you gotta give them a different type of love. And you know, in this world, a lot of people haven't experienced that. Why? It's because a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are scared to actually, um, you know, speak their voice out or they, they're scared to to, to uh, rock the boat a little bit. You know what I mean? They, they want everything to be peaceful. And the thing about it is God is creation and destruction. It would never be peaceful. It would never be peaceful. Some days it's sunny, some days it rain. Some days it thunder, right? Come on now, let's be real. The thing is, like I said, it's not that many real people left. So we, we, we got the energies because we got it from someone else. Someone else put it on to us. They put the realness in, in us. They instilled the realness into us. And now we able to give it back to y'all. I can't, I can't do nothing but be real. It's hard to fake it, bruh. 
I can't do it. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I can't put fake fake jewelry on. It turned my neck green. I can't fake it. It's just, that's just a blessing from God. I can't do it. And it just says what it is. But again, some people, you know, they able to be fake. They able to fake. I can't. I can't do it, bro. Right. So again, you you know what I mean? It's it's fine. You want to hang around fake people, bro? You want to hang around people? Who, you know what I'm saying? That's totally fine. Me personally, I don't hang around no fake people, right? That's just me personally. Not for a long time, because as soon as I'm smelling some fakeness, I'm feeling like something fake. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gone. You know, I mean, I'm, I go out in nature. I go with the trees. I go with the leaves. I go with the birds. I go with the bees. I go with the deer. I go, man, I, hey, I can find, hey, I can find, I go, go get me a dog or a cat. I can find, I can find something in someone. You feel me? Another spirit. Go out there with the air spirit. I go out and get in the water. I be with the water spirit. I go out in the mountains. I be with the mountain spirits, man. I wait until the mountain lions come out. I, I go with anything that's going to give me peace. You know what I'm saying? That's going to give me that, that type of respect. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't going to lie to me. So that's why I always deal with God first, because he ain't going to lie to me. Never going to lie to me. Never did. Every time it was always on point. I always lied to myself. And y'all need to remember that when I'm telling you, your intuition, God is going to tell you what it is. And we as people, sometimes we be like, man, nah, that ain't it. We be lying to ourselves. Right. So you got to take that intuition. It's a reason why you have that. Some people don't have intuition. I'm going to say that. Listen to what I'm saying. Some people don't have intuition. They can't hear that voice. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Right? Because you can help these people, but at the same time, you got to understand they don't have intuition. So if I'm telling you something and it sounds foreign, your intuition is off. If I tell you something and it sounds foreign, your intuition is off. Because if you're connected to God, God is going to make sure that you have the intellect to process exactly what I'm saying. But if you don't know what I'm saying, you can't hear what I'm saying. That means your intellect is off. Your intuition is off. Sometimes communication skills be off. Some people, they hear certain words and then they stop listening. Instead of hearing the whole paragraph or hearing the whole essay or hearing the whole story before they come to a conclusion. You might say something, something, something. The bird went over the hill and the pigs was flying. They like, oh, I'm not listening to this. Pigs don't fly. Now they didn't even listen to the rest. But you said, oh, no, nah, the pigs weren't flying. I was dreaming that. But you see what I'm saying? Now you got you got the rest of the story going, but they didn't can't hear the rest of the story because they heard one thing they didn't like. Right. And that's the same thing people do essentially with the Bible. It's the same thing people did in math class. You in math class. As soon as the teacher start talking about um, quotations and then please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and all these people started saying, oh, oh, this ain't math ain't for me. Now they don't even want to listen, even though he explained exactly how to do it. They they tuned out. And this is what I'm saying. Pay attention to these people, man. You can be talking to somebody, man. You can be giving them all type of information. Have them regurgitate take that back to you. What I just said. Oh, uh, bro. Uh, shit. I already know what you said, bro. Can you say it again? No, I can't say it again. You're not listening and you don't need to be around me if you're not going to be listening to the knowledge and insulate and the truth that I'm giving you. Right. You don't want them people around you. What's the point? That, that's, that's a waste of you talking. Right. You need to find people who actually want this education. Right. Who want this spiritual work. Right. Who, who want to grow better, who want to improve themselves. The same how, how McQueen. He got y'all. He got y'all. But y'all got to make sure y'all put the work in, too. Like I said, if you got people around you who don't want to put the work in, you ain't got to you ain't got to bug them about it. That's totally fine. You don't want to put the work in. That's that's your sorry ass. That's totally fine. Right. That's totally fine. Anyways, see y'all in the next one. We out, man. McQueen, this was a great video. I ain't gonna lie. Peace.